Good morning, Sydney. This is Jeff with the Sydney Chatterbots, and I'm here this morning. Uh, I'm going to give out a couple of announcements real quick before I go on to the show. Today's show is about depression basics. Um, anybody who suffers from depression, um, we're going to talk about that today. Um, I also have an ebook. Um, if you send me your email address, I will send it to you. Um, it's a free ebook called Depression Basics. So today's show again is about understanding depression, and I will send out more literature if you need it. So let's start with today's weather. Um, today's going to be mostly sunny, about 44, and a low of 25. On uh, Tuesday, it's going to be mostly cloudy, 46, with a low of 36. Wednesday, I'm sorry to tell you, but we're going to have showers. It's going to be a high of 45 with a low of 39. Uh, Thursday, we're going to have p.m. showers, uh, 53 with a low of 44, and that's a 50% chance of rain. And Friday is a.m. cloud, uh, p.m. sun, 51 with a low of 37, and that also is a 20% chance of rain. Um, I also have two announcements here that I would like to broadcast. Um, the Circle Drive Alliance Church is having a pie auction to support the youth fundraiser. That is Sunday, April 22nd at 1.30 p.m. at the Circle Drive Alliance Church at 6 Circle Drive. Again, the pie auction, Circle Drive Alliance Church, April 22nd at 1.30, 6 Circle Drive. Other announcement I have for Circle Drive, um, they are doing a black light dodgeball tournament, which is free. Um, the other thing you need to do is bring a little bit of money for snacks and drinks. Uh, this is on Saturday, April 28th from 4 to 8 p.m. Students grades 6 through 12. So um, if you're looking for the kids for some fun, uh, grades 6 through 12, the Circle Drive Alliance Church is having a black light dodgeball tournament. A lot of fun. Um, been there, seen it. Uh, great thing for kids. They have a good time. So let's uh, let's move along with the show today um, and get on to our subject. Okay, and our subject is understanding depression. Depression is a big thing we have in our community in our world today, along with I mentioned on my last show of anxiety. Um, they go hand in hand. Anxiety, depression, is something that uh, a lot of people are suffering from. So I wanted to touch base with those two, only to uh, enlighten some people who maybe don't understand it. Um, I can tell you I didn't understand it when I first was diagnosed with it. Um, I didn't understand a lot of things until the doctor had explained it to me. So we're, we're going to get a little insight today and see where we go. Okay. What are the signs of depression? Okay, if you have felt many of these symptoms nearly every day for two weeks or longer, you may have clinical depression, not just common sadness. Depression mood, feeling sad, tearful, irritable, or easily angered. Um, little interest or pleasure in activities you need to, you used to enjoy. Increase or decrease in appetite or weight. Um, that's, a, that's a big one for people with depression. Either you gain or you lose weight. It's on how your body reacts to it. Um, sleeping much more or much less than usual. Uh, restlessness or decreased activity. Fatigue or loss of energy. Feelings of worthlessness or guilt. Difficulty concentrating or making decisions. There's thoughts of death or suicide. Persistent negative thoughts. Now, these are some signs of clinical depression. Um, clinical depression is a quite serious depression. Um, there's many categories, uh, as we'll get into as we move along. Uh, sometimes depression can manifest as anxiety with the symptoms such as trouble sleeping, uh, tense feelings, um, fear of something awful might happen, um, irrational worries. Um, it, it's there's, there's just so many lined up 
out there that it, it's it's amazing on uh, what depression does to the human body. Um, I, like I said, I myself, I suffer from depression. Um, I know some folks who do also, and some things are different, some things are the same. Um, it, it's all in the person. Um, what causes depression? Depression is not a sign that you are weak. Depression is a common, uh, treatable, and serious medical condition. Depression is usually the result of several factors, okay? And the factors are stressful events such as job loss, financial strain, conflicts in relationship, death um, of a loved one, stresses may be recent or may build gradually. Family history, depression, um, is more common in people who have close relation, relatives with a depression. Medical conditions, um, pain, chronic pain, disease, Loss of functions or other illness can lead to depression, as can hormone changes such as during menstrual cycles, uh, postpartum. Um, many, many, many different things can lead to depression. Um, if you would like to know how depression is evaluated, your doctor may ask you to complete a screening uh, questionnaire. Um, then he or she should ask the questions and check a medical illness, family history, use of alcohol or other substance, and other concerns. Now, this is where um, I, I agree and disagree. Um, how is depression treated? Some or all the following steps may be appropriate depending on your own wishes and the seven, severity of your depression. Discuss these options with your doctor. Um, lifestyle changes, exercising regularly, um, healthy eating, making time for pleasurable activities, setting a routine, sleep pattern, avoiding alcohol or other recreational drugs, and spending time with friends and loved ones. Now, I, I'm not sure about other um, people here that are listening, but I have tried many of these and still have depression. Um, a lot of it, I think, is the day-to-day -day life and the day-to-day -day worries that we all have and that we all consume every day. And it's, it's, it's not, it causes depression, causes anxiety for everybody. Um, regular meetings with the doctor or psychiatrist, all right? That the, seeing a primary care doctor reg regularly, this plus lifestyle changes may lift mild depression. Um, like I said, there's a big difference between mild depression, depression, and chronic depression. Mild depression is a little easier to work with. Uh, meeting with a therapist for talk therapy regularly. Meeting with a psychiatrist for talk therapy and or medications. Um, I myself take medications. Medication is not a fix. I just like to put that out there. It, it's a help. Um, it's a stepping stone, but it, it, it's not a 100% fix. Antidepressants. Um, please discuss with your doctor the risk and benefits of medications, how to take and adjust doses and manage side effects. Regular follow-up with a doctor is important. It's important because the medications that they give you, the antidepressants, have side effects. And a lot of the side effects of an antidepressant is um, tiredness, fatigue. It's all the things that depression already gives you. So there's one thing I don't understand is why they would give you a medication to help your depression that still causes the fatigue and still causes the not having that energy to do everything. So that's just a question in my mind. It's my personal view. If you have another personal view, please feel free to put it down or even email me at sydneychatterbox at gmail.com. Okay, following through with treatment. We all know we need to follow through with a treatment if we're in it. It's a very important. Um, there's, there's more other, there are other resources out there which, um, Depression Basics. This is the ebook. Um, I printed it, but if you would like it, you could 
email me here at sydneychatterbox at gmail.com and I could send it to you in a PDF file and what you do is you click on it, it'll open up and it'll give you the whole book and you can read it um, from front to back and it's free of charge, there's no charge for it. This is all the stuff here I'm giving out is all free of charge, okay? There are biological factors, um, biological factors that might have some effects on depression, including genes, hormones, and brain chemicals. Um, <clears throat> for my years of research with anxiety, depression, um, it's a chemical imbalance of the brain. So what the doctors try to do is give you a medication that controls that chemical imbalancement and tries to make us balance. But it's, it, like I said again, it's more than taking just medications. We have to use that think process also to help the medications with the balance. Sometimes very hard to do. Um, I've been suffering from it since the age of 13, so I'm 50. And I still have it. So it, I've, I've been to doctors and you know, they, oh, we can help you, we can help you. I have tried all the relaxations and everything that they've given me. It is just my life is so, I guess, uh, on the go that I just, it, it's very hard for me to take a moment, relax, um, let loose, and release some anxiety or depression. Um, genetic factors. Depression often runs in families with suggestions that individuals may inherit genes that make them vulnerable to developing depression. However, one may inherit an increased vulnerability to the illness, but not necessarily the illness itself. Although many people may inherit the, vul the vulnerability, a great many of them may never suffer depression illnesses. Hormones research has found that there are some hormonal changes that occur in depression. The brain goes through some changes before and during depression episodes, and certain parts of the brain are affected. This might result in a over or under production of some of the hormones, which may account for some of the symptoms of depression. Medication treatment can effective it can be defective. I'm sorry, can be effective in treating these conditions. Um, again, we're talking about brain chemicals again. Um, just a little bit more. Nerve cells in the brains communicate to each other by a specific chemical substance called neurotransmitters. Neurotransmitters. <laughs> Wow, big word. Okay, here we go. It's believed that during depression there is a reduced activity of one or more of these transmitters systems, and this disturbs certain areas of the brain that regulate functions such as sleep, appetite, um, sexual drive, and perhaps mood. The redu reduced level of um, transmitters results in reduced communications between the nerve cells and the counts of typical symptoms of depression. Many antidepressant drugs increase the transmitters in the brain. Our brain, our brain consists of many transmitters and they send electricity from one transmitter to the next. Um, with having depression or anxiety, you could have um, a blockage between the transmitters, where they're not connecting. <clears throat> they, their uh, doctor's idea is medications undoes the blocking of the transmitters. Okay. There's other healthy ways of doing that. Um, I know it doesn't sound the greatest. Uh, fish oil. Um, they have fish oils that come in different um, flavors, and they are burpless, which means you will not taste it. Um, fish oil tablets are very good for your brain, very good for your transmitters. Um, it, 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 uh, I, I take a fish oil pill every day. It, it, it works well. It really does. Um, 
just a little food for thought out there. Okay, psychological factors. Um, thinking, many thinking patterns are associated with depression. These thinking patterns include overstressing the negative, taking the responsibility for bad events, but not for good events. Um, having an inflexible rules about how one should behave. Thinking that you know what others are thinking and that they are thinking badly of you. Um, that again, our minds play tricks, okay? We, we go look at people and think, oh my God, they're talking about me or they're thinking bad things about me. It, and that is just our anxiety um, building up for that depression. So we have to really pinpoint what is causing us to think that way. Um, are people thinking badly of us or are they? We, we don't. We don't know, so we use the positive. We'll, we'll use the positive as, no, they're not. And that should help you get through um, a lot of those ways of thinking. Um, loss. Loss is a big, big factor. <clears throat> Sometimes people experience events where loss occurs and this can bring on depression. The experience of loss may include the loss of a loved one through um, separation, um, loss of a job, loss of a friendship, loss of a promotion, um, lots, lots of um, losses, death. Um, it, it's it, it, a loss. It, it will take a big factor on anybody with depression or anxiety. Excuse me. Okay. The other thing is sense of failure. Um, some people may take their happiness in achieving um, particular goals, such as getting as on their exams, getting a particular job, earning a certain amount of profit from a business venture, or finding a life partner. If for some reason they are not able to achieve these goals, they, may, they might believe that they have failed. Somehow it is this sense of failure that can sometimes bring on an increase of depression. Everyday life for us is a hit miss. It's, um, are we going to fail at something? Um, I, I'm sure people without depression or without anxiety think the same thing. Um, everybody's afraid of failure. But if we don't try, we will never know if we would make it or if we would fail. If we fail, we pick ourselves up and we try again. That's the way I look at it. There, there's, there's failures, but yet you can you could pick yourself up, wipe yourself off, and say, look, I'm not going to let this failure keep me down. I'm not going to let it stress me out. I'm not going to let it make me depressed. I'm going to keep going forward, and I'm going to do what I need to do to make things work. Um, the number one factor is stress. Everybody, everyday life has stress. Um, I, I don't. I don't care if you're a stay-at-home mom or if you're out in the working field. Um, stay-at-home moms have many stresses. The, the, the children at home, taking care of the house, um, things break down during the day, wash machine goes, that's a stress. I have children now, my wash machine, what, what am I going to do? How am I going to fix this? So stress is a big thing. Okay, accumulation of stressful life events may also bring on depression. Stressful events um, include situations such as unemployment, financial worries, serious difficulties with spouse, parents, or children, physical illnesses, and major changes in life circumstances. Some people have a hard time with change. Um, I'm going to admit I'm one of those people. I don't deal with change well. Um, I, I like a routine, um, and uh, thanks to um, my better half, I, I at least have some encouragement to accept change and, and work with it. But again, it's still very hard to deal with change, for me anyway. So in conclusion, 
while we cannot do much about the genes we have inherited, there are a number of things we can do to overcome depression or to prevent us from becoming depressed. Your doctor may have suggested medications, especially in a severe depression. While taking medications can be assistance in overcoming depression, um, psychological treatments are also available. Ask your doctor or mental health practitioner for more details. Um, I just wanted to put this out there that uh, I, I know we have mental health here in our area at a wall in New York, but we also have a, another uh, mental health clinic that just started. Um, it's at Fox Care right across from the Sydney Fire Department. Um, if you go in there and talk to them, they have a, um, a, a woman that comes down who does um, therapy and does medications. So if that's something you're interested in and you don't want to have to travel to Walton and you don't want to have to go to Delaware County Mental Health, we have one here locally in Sydney. So. I just wanted to make that available to everybody. Again, if you want the ebook, Depression Basics, then just email me, and that is sydneychatterbox at gmail.com, and just say, hey, send me the ebook, all right? And I will get it right to you. It has a lot of helpful information. Um, if anybody wants to know more information about the mental health clinic here, in Sydney, um, starting up at the Fox Care across from the fire department. Feel free to email me again at the same one, at the same email address, and I will make sure you get the information that you are looking for. So that will conclude today's show. I thank everybody who came on to listen and who support um, Sydney Chatterbox. I'm very thankful for it. We I'm trying to do a lot of different things here. Um, I think our next show I'm going to talk about migraines. Um, I have noticed throughout the time on Facebook, a lot of friends, people uh, talking about it and personal experiences with my children. Uh, migraines are something that happen a lot and sometimes people don't understand why migraines happen. The, um, get very depressed, that brings on depression, anxiety. So I, I, I am going to do a lot of research and I am going to hold my next show. Um, I'm going to try to hold it on Monday at 11. Don't hold me to it because I have to check my schedule. But I will check my schedule. I will let everybody know within the next day or so um, what time that show will be. So stay tuned and I look forward to doing much more here on Sydney Chatterbox. So this is Jeff, I'm signing off. Take care of yourself and each other.